Hi guys, I'm recording this video to show you how to download data in R using uh, Quandl. So if you haven't installed the package, use the install package uh, function to install uh, Quandl. I already installed Quandl, so I'm not going to do that again. Uh, but in any case, you need to update or to activate the library using the command or function library. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, so I'm going to run this now. My library is active. Let's say I want to download data for oil prices. So I go to Google and find oil, uh, the code for oil prices on Quandl. Um, let's say I want OPEC oil prices. I'm going to click on that. And then all what I need from this, so all the data here, but all what I need from this is actually the uh, Quandl code. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going back to uh, my R. I'll give it a name, oil and use the function uh, Quandl and I'm going to paste uh, the code here. Once you run this line, you uh, download the data in uh, your R as you see. You can view the data, you have the values, the diet, uh, and you can also explore your data uh, using, uh, for example, tail. So you see when the data uh, start, so when I run that, you see the data here start from 2003 and it's daily data. You could also uh, use head uh, oil to see the when uh, the data uh, ends. So it ends on uh, 2019th. So it's, it's daily data, so it's very easy to do. So I could also uh, plot the data using the plot uh, uh, function. So I'm going to say plot oil and run this. Uh, oops, there's a, a typo, I think. Yes, yeah, so you're just going to correct that. So it's plot oil. And once you run this, you get the graph. So what about if I want S&P 500 from Quandl? So I do the same in Google. Um, I'm just going to choose this one and I'm going to get the code again. So you see this is the data for S&P 500 index and this is daily uh, data. So again, all what I need to have from here is the Quandl code. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to give it a name. Let's say in our, um, let's say um, SP500 uh, and I'm going to use the same uh, function Quandl. Um, and then I'm going to paste uh, the code for S and P500 index. When I run that, you would receive an error just saying that you need uh, to enter your um, API key because, um, yeah, where is it? Yeah, it's here, yeah, that's API uh, key. So to do that, you need an account with uh, Quandl. So I'm going to Google, just gonna find Quandl website and I'm going to, so the first one. So what I'm going to do, so this is the, the main page um, in uh, Quandl and then all what you need to do is to sign up for an account. You enter the usual stuff, your uh, first name, your last name and uh, how you're going to use the data and then you enter your college, your university name, um, you enter your uh, email address, so the very, very basic and very easy form to fill in to uh, sign up for a free account with Quandl. And again, I'm just gonna tell them what I'm going to use the data for. And then you click next, and then you just uh, enter a password. So I'm going to enter a password here. And then you need to confirm the, the password again and confirm that you're not a robot and you agree in the terms and condition. Uh, oops, it seems that I have used this email for an account before, so I'm just gonna change this email to a different email address, just to show you how to sign up for an account. So it's just the same, and then confirming I'm not a robot, and then creating an account. Yes, we get an account, and this is your um, uh, API key. That's the one that you need for to access the data on uh, in R. So I copied that. Uh, just remember, you receive an email a confirmation email. You need to activate your account before you use the API key. So in R, I'm going to enter the API key using this function. So I'm going to copy and paste my API key here. And then once you run that now, R understand uh, or link that to your account. So, so now it is active 
and now uh, all what I need to do is to uh, upload the data or import the data. You've got all the S&P 500 data, the open prices, the close prices, etc. Uh, the high, the low prices, etc. So, and, and that's it. So that's everything you need to do. So you can go to Quandil, sign up for a free account, and then you can download data from Quandil using the function Quandil. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you see you in the next video.